I upgraded the human prompt, so you are now able to write long articles that still pass AI detection. Hey guys, my name is Jesper Nissen. I've been doing SEO since 2008, and I have a master degree in theoretical physics. We're not talking about physics today, we're talking about beating AI detection. So uh, last week, I published a video about the human prompt. And the human prompt is a one-shot prompt that allows you to, to write articles based on some input material using ChatGPT and uh, with no editing at all, you're able to actually pass AI detection. So I've been working on the uh, human prompt and I saw some areas where we could improve and uh, particularly about the language usage and also about the article length itself. The upgraded version of the human prompt still beats AI detection. It allows you to write much longer articles and uh, I also engineered some more factual information into it. So now I'm going to walk you through how I use the human prompt. I'm starting out the process by going to Schema Writer. And uh, Schema Writer is the application that I built that uh, writes Schema, of course, Schema Writer. But it also has the built-in application called Wikipedia Entities. And Wikipedia Entities is the foundation of, uh, so actually my keyword research when I'm, I'm writing stuff that I'm going to, content that I'm going to put on the Schema Writer site. The main topic of, uh, of Schema Writer is of course Schema. So what I could do is I could search for schema.org. I think there is a Wikipedia entity called schema.org. There is. So what Schema Writer does now is it's visiting schema.org. Sorry, it's visiting Wikipedia and then it's scraping all of the related keywords in Wikipedia related to schema.org. It's also reading all the pages. It's extracting the, um, the keywords, converting them into vectors. And uh, then we're using machine learning to sort, to find and sort the most relevant keywords. So the reason that I do it this way is because now I get a list of entity pages. Let me just click on all so I can see all of the keywords. So now I get a list of uh, keywords here that all of these guys here, they have a Wikipedia page. And they are sorted by relevance and we are using language understanding because we're using machine learning in order to sort these uh, these guys here. So schema.org, schema, semantic web service, uh, RDF schema, semantic wiki, and so on and so forth. So, so we actually, so what we're doing is we're writing an article about each of these keywords and we're actually using the human prompt to actually do this. So uh, let's say that uh, I want to write about search engine optimization. Search engine optimization would be a typical keyword for the uh, website jespernissen.com that looks like this. So this is my website, my personal website, and uh, the topic for this guy here, or this website here would be, of course, search engine optimization. So now Schema Writer is visiting Wikipedia again using machine learning. Let me just click pause until it's done. So now it's done and uh, it found all of these entities here. SEO is search engine marketing, SEO contest, search engine optimization, search marketing, and so on and so forth. So you can see a lot of uh, related Wikipedia keywords. And the good thing about doing it this way is that in no way are you normally able to actually find this just by visit visiting Wikipedia. You can find related links, but they're not sorted in topics. So we don't know uh, search engine indexing, we don't know how related that is to search engine optimization, but just visit, visiting Wikipedia, you, you do need to uh, use tools like Schema Writer or other machine learning platforms. And anyway, so uh, let's say that I want to write an article about search engine, let's just uh, see if we can find a search engine strategy. So that's a good keyword. The first step that I take is I search Google for this keyword. Doot. And then I will not copy this because I know that uh, this is 100% uh, AI content, so no need to use them as background information. Let me just open ChatGPT. And I start out by typing into ChatGPT, read this, doot. And then I will doot, I will copy this guy here. Let me just, just open. So I know that the, this, is not, this is not AI, so we can use this as background. So that, that's, just a, that's just a tip. So I'm using this method. Whenever I write an article, I'm always putting in information, background information in uh, ChatGPT, but I always take care to 
I don't want to put AI produced content because then we're just running around in a circle. Backlingo is ranking high. I'm not taking this guy here because this is a uh, 200,000 word article. I don't know. It's, it's crazy long. No need to lay, take such a long article. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this guy here. Dude. Uh, it's still a long article, but not as long as um, Backlingo. Dude. And then uh, the third article will be, of course, the Wikipedia page for search engine strategies. So, um, yeah. So. And let me just let uh, ChatGPT read this. So now ChatGPT is reading this. ChatGPT, ChatGPT is reading this, and uh, we now have our background information. So let's go over to the uh, the human prompt. The while it's reading, let's just copy the revised human prompt. And uh, what I did was I uh, did two things. I restructured it. So I put in these guys here, these uh, subheaders in the prompt because. There's nothing that I hate more than seeing a prompt that I can't read because it's 2,000 words long. The prompt is 2,000 words, and it's just filled with headers or filled with the topics and you know instructions, and doesn't make any sense at all. I can't understand it with my hum limited human brain. So now we have option to define the article length. We have the option to define the tone of voice. We have the option to define the writing instructions. And we have also the options or instructions on how to include the facts. So these are now the four sections of this, the human prompt. And uh, let me actually just, uh, do, 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 let me actually just go through the entire human prompt because uh, I made some changes that I want you to note if you watched my last video. So I want you to write an article based on the web pages you just read. The article must be around about keywords. Uh, and in this case, it's uh, search engine strategies. I want you to follow the writing instructions below. Article length, the article must be minimum 1,000 words. And you can define whatever you want here. And up to probably up to, up to a limit, uh, ChatGPT seems to be reasonably, it, it seems to understand what you're saying. So if you're saying 500 words will be more or less 500 words. If you say 1,000, it could be 1,100, but um, it seems to understand. Tone of voice, the tone must be professional, human, and unpolished. Like someone explaining things out loud, not rising a, writing a polished essay. Sentences should vary in length, some short, some longer, and messy. Avoid robotic structure. Avoid overly poetic or whimsical language. This is the same as last time. Writing instructions. No metaphors that personify input keyword or use cutesy comparisons. Don't waste time with vague intros. Start with useful info right away. Do not use, and here comes the uh, add-on. Do not use filler phrases, casual idioms, or cliches. Avoid phrases like all that jazz. You name it, not that smart, seriously, and so on. So uh, the last step is, um, and this is optional, and let me explain why. Pull in specific data, numbers, or examples from the original sources wherever possible. So what I experience is that whenever I include this line, it uh, still passes AI detection in ZeroGPT and Scriber. Uh, it's, it doesn't pass as much in originality, and I, I don't know why. So the upside of using this is that uh, it does add citations to, to the content. It does add citations to the article. So that makes it slightly more, probably slightly more trustful or trustworthy. Uh, but it also, it, it needs editing. So for, for this example, I'm not going to include this line. So anyway, include real practical facts about keyword why it matters, when to do it, how it's done, what common mistakes people make, and what happens if you don't do it correct. Stay weird and uneven in tone, but keep it grounded and rooted in facts. No fluff. So uh, let's just uh, get started. Dude. Let's copy. Dude. I will remove this optional because I don't want that. So uh, now I inserted search engine strategies everywhere, and I can click uh, start. So now it's writing. And let me just click pause until it's done. All right, so now it is done. And let's just uh, check the length of this guy here. Do it. Oh, down to here. Control C. Let's check the length. So 1100 words. 
and uh, let's check it in uh, zero GPT. Good. And let's also check it in Scribber. Good. Detect. So zero in Scribber, zero in the in zero GPT, and let's check it in originality. And click scan. And um, let me click. Oh, okay, so it's already done. So uh, yeah, so likely original with 99% uh, confidence. So th there you have it, guys. I mean, you have 1100 words and it's filled with facts and it still beats all of the AI detectors, all the three guys that I use anyway. Originality, Scribber and uh, Zero GPT. So if you're looking at this article and you in if you're looking when you're looking at the the writing style of this article search engine strategies what works what breaks and why you need a plan search engine strategies are not about or are about improving the visibility of a website in search engine results that's the point you're not doing SEO for fun you're doing so people actually find your site and so on and so forth so the way that we use the output of uh, the human prompts also version two that you are looking at here is that typically we are rewriting the introduction because we know that Google places great emphasis on the introduction, the beginning of your article. So we do rewrite this, uh, actually the entire introduction. We always do that. And uh, the first sentences, I always look at these guys here. Uh, does it make sense? Does it not make sense? If it doesn't make sense or if it sound, just sounds too annoying, just delete it or rewrite it. Um, but it. But either way, I really like this article. So this kind of AI content is really good because it's, first of all, it's based on real life content that's actually ranking. So we're sure to get the correct keywords, the ranking keywords. And it's also written in a style that kind of like resembles a human being. So you still need, you still do need to look at the introduction, and you still do need to look at the uh, at the ending down here. You might want to delete that, but still, either way, even if you're just taking this article, it does pass zero GPT, Scribber, and also originality. So um, yeah, so there you have it, guys. That was the uh, human prompt version two. And click the uh, link in the description to below to download the instruction if you don't want to grab screenshots from this video. So take care. See you in the next one.